welcome to our, our video today. Today we're going to show you four of our family's favorite recipes. And three of those recipes uh, start off with chicken breast. I'm showing you an ad here where I did get the chicken breast for $1.99 a pound, which is not bad. That's a pretty good deal. So we did stock up the freezer uh, with chicken breast and three of the four of those meals will be with chicken breast. One will be with chicken thighs. I hope you enjoy them. Hello, welcome to our channel here at Family Meal Budget Stretchers. Uh, here today we're going to show you four of our family's favorite chicken meal dinners that are economical and also delicious. Um, and again, I will note to you that I did get the chicken on sale. The chicken breast was $1.99 a pound and I did stock up, which is how we stretch our budget. So let's get to the kitchen where my daughter Sabrina is going to show you our first recipe. Hello there, welcome to our channel. The first meal that we're, we're going to get started with is lemon garlic chicken, which is a recipe that I use very often. And let's get started. For this recipe, you will need two chopped garlic cloves, the juice of two lemons, and about a third cup of all-purpose flour, and a dash of garlic powder for dredging. I'm going to mix the flour and garlic powder together. Add just enough olive oil to thinly coat the bottom of a three-quart pan or a Dutch oven can work too. While heating the olive oil at a medium-high heat, cut the three chicken breasts lengthwise and lightly dredge both sides of each piece in the flour mixture. On medium-high heat, brown each side of the chicken pieces until they are golden brown. It'll be about five to seven minutes on each side. And this can be done in batches, so all pieces are browned evenly. Remove the brown pieces from the heat and brown the second batch and remove from the heat. Next, add the two cloves of chopped garlic to the heated oil and stir at medium heat until cooked. The brown pieces at the bottom of the pan will also add flavor along with the garlic. Add the juice of two lemons and stir this together with the garlic. Remove the pan from the heat and add one tablespoon of all-purpose flour to the garlic and lemon juice and stir. Stir this together until the flour is no longer visible. The mixture will be slightly lumpy for now, but that's okay. This will disappear during the final cooking. Again, add another tablespoon of flour and stir this as well. You're going to add flour one tablespoon at a time and you stir each time until the mixture thickens like this. I usually end up stirring in about three tablespoons of flour but this time I ended up using two tablespoons. Pour in two cups of chicken broth. I used a bouillon packet to make my chicken broth but you can use any chicken broth you prefer. 
and you're going to stir the broth in while the pan is off the heat. The mixture will look lumpy, but again, this will disappear during the cooking. And you're going to return the pan to the heat and stir continuously on medium heat until the mixture begins to thicken and it should look like a thin gravy. When the mixture comes to a boil, return the chicken pieces to the pan. Make sure the gravy covers each piece of chicken. Bring the heat down to a simmer and cover the pan. Cook for about 40 minutes until the chicken's internal temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit and the inside is no longer pink. The chicken in the lemon garlic sauce comes out fork tender and can be served with rice and your favorite vegetables. Any kind of pasta also pairs up well with this. If you like this recipe, please like and subscribe. Bye for now. See you in the next video. We're going to begin with Tuscan chicken. We're going to slice one bell pepper, one onion, and two cloves of garlic minced. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. Whisk one egg into a large bowl, like this. And to your, another dish you will mix uh, three-fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon garlic powder, two teaspoons oregano, one quarter teaspoon black pepper, and two teaspoons of smoked paprika. You will first dip each chicken piece into the egg mixture and then you will dip it into your flour mixture. You will dredge your chicken into the flour mixture like this. Then you will repeat the process with each piece. I want to let you know what I did here. I, um, I cut lengthwise each chicken piece each chicken breast. To a pan here I am adding two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil to which I will then place my chicken and as that is cooking I am going to spray a cookie sheet that's been lined with foil with cooking spray and I will brown each piece of chicken and place it on the cookie sheet and then I will then place it into the preheated oven and allowing it to finish cooking for 30 minutes. To the same pan that we just finished browning the chicken breast in, we are now going to make the sauce. I add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and then I will add my onion slices into the pan. And we will Cook the onions on medium, medium to medium high heat for about three to four minutes until the onions have softened, like this. Then we will add our two cloves of minced garlic to the pan, only for about a minute because we do not want to burn the garlic. And we will stir to combine. Then we will add about a third cup of sun-dried tomatoes to the pan, stirring again to combine. Then I will add my one sliced bell, red bell pepper, stirring to cook. Then I am going to add 
oregano, half a teaspoon of oregano. And about one teaspoon of smoked paprika. And about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Stirring all my ingredients in the pan. Then I will add one third cup of white cooking wine. Then two cups of chicken broth. I use bouillon here, but you can use chicken broth um, that you have bought at the store or homemade. I am stirring all my ingredients into the pan. And I will let this simmer for about five minutes on a medium or a low heat. Then I will add one third cup of heavy cream stirring into the mixture. And then here I'm using half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use fresh as you, if you like. I am using this kind here. Then I am adding three cups of fresh spinach. Combining all my ingredients, stirring my spinach into the sauce. And I will let that simmer. Once that has simmered for about five minutes, then I will remove the cooked chicken from the oven. And I will add each piece into the sauce. Like this. I will then keep a uh, Keep it on simmer for about five more minutes. This is my plate of food here. And I have paired it up with pasta and green beans and carrots. And it is delicious. It came out tender, as you can see. And this is what my family enjoys. And I hope our next dish is wild rice chicken supreme. This is a very economical dish as well. We start off with two-thirds cup of chopped red bell pepper and two-thirds cup of chopped onion. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Meanwhile, prepare two boxes of wild rice, uh, long grain wild and wild rice set aside. To a Dutch oven pot, heat up half a stick to one stick of butter and then you will add your two-thirds cup of chopped onion. At medium low, you will begin to cook the onion until it is soft and tender. Gradually add two-thirds cup of all-purpose flour a little bit at a time, stirring each time until it is all combined. Then you will add your one teaspoon of salt and a dash of pepper. Keep stirring as you go. Then you will add your two cups of half and half and keep stirring because this is starting to thicken. And then add your two cups of chicken broth. You must keep stirring as it thickens and then add your two-thirds cup of red bell pepper. Then you will add <clears throat> your two tablespoons of parsley flakes. Stir all to combine and it should look like this as it is when it's thick, when it has thickened. Then you will add your four cups of cubed cooked chicken breast. Stir well. And then you will add your all of your cooked wild rice. 
and you will stir all to combine well. <clears throat> To a 9 by 13 baking dish spray with cooking spray and then place um, all into the baking dish and bake for uncovered for 30 minutes and it should look like this when done I here I served mine with steamed broccoli and green beans this is a favorite in my house, and there's usually no leftovers. I hope it will be a favorite in yours. This next recipe is red wine vinegar chicken. This has been a long time favorite of my family and calls for very little ingredients, and it is very delicious. So here we have six garlic cloves and two ripe tomatoes uh, that have been chopped. And to the pan, I add one tablespoon of olive oil. And we begin to brown the chicken thighs with skin side down first on medium high heat. I will be doing nine pieces of chicken. I will be browning nine pieces, but I will be doing in two batches. So once we have placed the chicken in the pan, we add the salt and the pepper. Once it has browned on the skin side, we will turn them over so it can brown on the other side. And then again, I will season with salt and pepper. Once it has browned on each side, I will place it on a plate, and then I will do the second batch. Once again, skin side down first, and then season with salt and pepper. So this is a total of nine chicken thighs. I am using chicken thighs here, but you can use whatever you like. You can use chicken legs and you can also use a whole chicken cut up as well. So once the second batch has finished browning, I will place it on a plate and remove the grease from the pan and then I will add the minced garlic and I will cook briefly and then I will add three quarters of a cup of red wine vinegar to the pan deglazing the pan stirring to get all the good bits from the bottom then I will add the two chopped tomatoes stirring and then I will add three-fourths of a cup of water. Stir to combine, and then I will add my chicken back to the pan. And then I will set this on a low heat and allow it to stew gently for about 30 minutes. In the end, after it is finished cooking, I will add a dash of parsley flakes, or you could add fresh parsley. And here is my plate of food. As you can see, I have served it with some rice and some steamed broccoli and green beans. This comes out very delicious. It is, again, once, once again, one of my family's favorites. I hope it will be one of your family's favorites as well. It makes the whole house smell so good. <laughs> that's true. Okay, well that's a wrap on our family's favorite chicken recipes. 
I hope you will try one of them. And if you do, please don't forget to comment and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next one.